This is the iOS show, the show that's all about apps and tips and tricks for your iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. And on this episode, we are taking a look at Autumn Dynasty. We don't usually cover games on the iOS show, but we thought this game was quite cool and interesting, so we wanted to share with you. This is called Autumn Dynasty. It's a real-time strategy game specifically built for the iPad. And uh, the reason why we're very impressed with it is by how you know all the touch mechanics uh, mechanics work. So um, the game comes with single player with campaign as well as skirmish mode, uh, where you can play with the AI. Um, so and there's also multiplayer by either game center uh, with you know random strangers or via Bluetooth, which we're going to demonstrate right here. So that's how we're going to show you what the game is about by show, talking about a game uh, between Justin and uh, Runhal sitting over there with the other iPad over Bluetooth. Let's start a random map. And um, the game basically uh, is a, it's designed really for the iPad. It's, it's really simple to play. Um, you know, there, there is no resource gathering. You don't need to actually get uh, a drones or anything like that. You just all you need to do is that the goal just keeps increasing on its own. Um, there are many different buildings with different purposes. Uh, so you can see over here, this is the fort, and the fort is where uh, you know basically the the units are being generated. Uh, you also have uh, a farm, and you can see here Justin's building uh, quite a number of farms to try and increase. Uh, the, the number of goals. So over here you can see the goal over here, the mana is on this side, and the third column over here, this is the re the um, the supply. So it's just like kind of like in StarCraft where you have, the more supply depots you have, the more units you can generate, and uh, you build buildings as well, uh, specific buildings to increase um, the amount of supply and uh, increase the limit you have for the buildings as well. So you don't need to worry about drones, you don't need to worry about a lot of all this kind of stuff. And in fact, if you, if you just noticed just now, uh, Justin was using you know, the swordsman to build buildings. So uh, again, anybody, any unit can actually uh, build buildings itself. And the mechanics of the units, there's five different types of, of units altogether. Uh, you know, there's a uh, pikeman, there's a swordsman, there's, there are archers, you know, for, for range attacks, there are horsemen which travel faster. And uh, you also have a catapult which can create, uh, a, you know, area effect damage. But they are quite a lot weaker uh, against, you know, those ground units and basically they need to be defended. So over here you can see Justin is really spreading out to try and find where Runhouse base uh, is, uh, as well as you know keep building in you know, buildings to try and increase the supply and uh, you know to increase the speed. So it's a very nice strategy game. Uh, and one other cool thing about it is that you know it re the way you select units and all that is almost like painting. So when you want to select a group of people, right, you just kind of draw a, a, a really nice circle, it's like a Chinese painting and um, you know you can move a lot of units at the same time and you can see on this map there are mountains and trees you can actually use this uh, to, uh, for your advantage trees actually allow you to hide units so when units go into the trees they disappear but they travel a lot slower and then whereas mountains allow you to, to use special powers so you can see Justin is researching uh, a one level of uh, you know uh, research and you know, once the research is done, his units, some of his units, will be able to use special powers that might even be able to take advantage of mountains, for example, and like you know, do avalanches on the enemy. So um, yeah, that's the basic mechanics of the game. It's very simple, which which makes it really fun to play on an iPad. Yet you know, yet challenging at the same time. Um, you know, there's there's very there's a lot of balance in, in the units as, itself. Um, there are elements on the map that allows you to play around to use for strategy and um, the campaign is, is quite challenging as well. So uh, right now, let's, uh, let's take a look at the game between Ren Hao and Justin. There is, looks like they've discovered uh, each other. You got the, um, the, so Justin is now sending his horsemen down to attack the archers. No, sorry, those are swordsmen. Horsemen are weak against pikesmen, but they're strong against archers, catapults, and swordsmen. So you can see horsemen versus swordsmen. Uh, the horseman is obviously going to win this one. So Fari is now sending in reinforcements with another horseman, and you can see as that as as life kind of goes away, as life, <laughs> you can see that when damage happens, uh, you know the the the, the 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 little group of units they start to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And by the way, there's an interesting uh, mechanic in this game. Healing happens when you put units near the fortress itself. So the main that's how you kind of heal. So you know if you bring your units near to the fortress, you can actually regenerate health itself. So let's continue taking a look at this very exciting game between Justin and uh, Run Hao. You can see like Justin is obviously very experienced with this particular game. There's really fast movements. He knows exactly where to find the units. And you can see right here the pike man is hiding in here. They bring bring reinforcements all the way to attack that lone horseman, which is going around to find where Justin's base. But Justin has gotten himself spread out throughout the map. So 
Um, Faris got a lot to fight against. You don't know your, comp- your your whatever you're saying, right? He's actually listening and he yeah, knows I what know. I'm doing. But <laughs> the thing is that to be fair, yeah, like you know, you're definitely much better than him <laughs> this game since you played a lot more. So you know, not only are we giving an audience a little bit of commentary of what's going on here, we are also giving Ren Hao a bit of a handicap by telling him exactly what's going on on Justin's iPad. Over here, you can see Justin has just completed one research and he's going on the second level again for the economy. Um, so, let's see. I, I, I don't know, at this point in time, I can see, I, I'm guessing, even with all the handicap, uh, Ren Hao is in a bit of a trouble. And uh, we can see there's an arrow storm. That was one of the special powers of the archers. I don't know why... Uh, Ren- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why Ren Hall just poured uh, arrow storm on a mountain with nobody on it. But <laughs> there was a demonstration of uh, the arrow storm itself. There's a lot of people right now on Game Center. Um, you know, in the past uh, time while we're preparing for this, we actually received. You know, both uh, Ren Hall and Justin has received requests by people on Game Center uh, trying to uh, you know play games with them. So even though you can see there's, there's sort of a lot of guide in the game itself, like for example, there's a space specifically decided for you to where to put the buildings, um, you know, there, there is still quite a bit, uh, it has enough uh, flexibility for you to do stuff. So this kind of makes the game uh, easy to play, less to think about yet, you know, enough for you to have fun and have really I lots of strategy. I think he's gone. So that looks like uh, I think done. last building, because you can see, <laughs> if you take a look at the mini map over here, Justin has basically taken up the uh, majority, I can say about 80% of the map. And there are no red dots except this one. So you can see the archers going in, and um, the, he slowed down Justin. Not that it's not going to do. It's not gonna really going to do much because Justin is pretty much outnumbered Ren Hao and destroyed his last building as well. So <laughs> let's see. Is this GG? Let's see, yeah, slowly dwindling down. And oh no, there he actually has more units hidden in the corner there. So that means that there must be another building somewhere over there. And um, oh, oh, there you go. Look at that. His defense building. So the tower is actually defending itself. There we go. But because Justin has himself all spread out, he's gonna bring in more reinforcements. On hey, the don't tell him side. that. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like Justin is supply block right now. Um, and there you go. Another research has been complete for Justin. And no more supply block. And uh, guess well, look why? At that. He's got fifteen. He's because thanks to his research, the amount of supply per building has actually increased. He's bringing in reinforcements. You notice the map is kind of small, but because this is an iPad game, um, it's actually it's meant for design for games that are not too long. Oh, actually, his uh, Rune House got pretty sus- um, you know substantial base here. Of course, nothing compared to Justin's, but still pretty good. And uh, somebody's called the spy power. I'm not sure what that's supposed to do in the battle right here, but and each time a unit uses special uh, powers, it needs to recover. So you can't always just keep using. So you can see here uh, that the unit needs to recover for using that, and it, it subtracts mana, which is up here. And there are actually buildings. It's, it's not actually called uh, in in this game. It's not called mana. It's called uh, um, uh, acumen. Uh, ac- acumen. Yes, that's right. So, like more of a Chinese um, war game type of terminology. Oh, I still have something here. Let's push that in. Ah, he hidden his, hit himself in there. Let's see. Yeah, so there you have the demonstration of uh, Fari hiding himself within the trees, uh, and now they're just arrow storming each other, trying to see. <laughs> can destroy each other. But you know, this is a good place for somebody to demonstrate the uh, fire ability because trees catch fire and they spread really quickly. So let's see. Um, okay, fine. And you should I'll actually do, do that on trees. Nah, it's okay. Although that will, you know, kill yourself. But there yeah. you go. Victory. Justin has won the game. Uh, also because by, by quite a bit actually. Uh, and um, yeah, GG. So that And I is, haven't even finished. Yeah, he hasn't even finished. <laughs> like building, maxing out my... Uh, my units. So. so that is Autumn Dynasty, a real-time strategy game on the iPad. It's currently going on for a 50% off at the time of recording, so at 4.99 US dollars, it will go up again to 9.99. Oh. 
uh, we, we don't know whether the price will keep going up and down. The game is still really brand new, so uh, you know, there's no point for us to show you uh, what App Shopper says about it. It's totally brand new. So, but as you can see here, it's, it's a pretty nice game and very nice campaign and uh, lovely art, uh, you know, and uh, lovely music. The music is really very epic. Um, and a really easy game play. So um, if you're looking for a real-time strategy game, um, this might be something that you might want to give it a try. Autumn Dynasty on the iOS show for the iPad only. And um, yeah, that's it. And that's it for this episode of the iOS show. Be sure to subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash 65bits and visit our website at www.tech65.org for more videos. Goodbye.